White balance is one of the most important settings in Camera Raw, right up there with the exposure slider. Simple adjustments to the white balance can have a dramatic effect on how your images look, so you want to make sure that you get it right and avoid any unnecessary color casts that detract from your photographs. Now the first thing you'll notice when looking at the white balance options is that there is a preset drop down menu which gives you a variety of different presets based on different lighting conditions. Now the first you'll notice is as shot. Now this is determined in camera when you actually took the photograph. The second is auto, which is basically where Camera Raw will try and determine what it believes the correct white balance of your photograph should be. From here, you have a range of different lighting conditions, daylight, cloudy, and shade. Each one of these adds a bit extra warmth as you progress further down the line. From here, you then have tungsten, fluorescent, and flash. Now, tungsten will try and remove all the yellow from your image, and fluorescent will attempt to remove all green from your image. The last and final setting is custom, and this is primarily where I work, but I tend to use as shot as the starting point for all of my photographs. So I'll actually set it on as shot and then start to work on the temperature and tint sliders. Now, the temperature slider tries to mimic degrees Kelvin, and that's where you have a cool and a warmth. So on the left hand side you have blue, and on the right hand side you have yellow. So as you move your temperature slider from the left, you'll have blue, and as you move it to the right hand side, you'll actually be adding yellow to your image. Now the tint slider is different. It actually adds green or magenta to your image by moving your slider to the left hand side or the right hand side. Now this just helps trying to balance out your image because obviously you can't correctly color correct your image just with one color setting. There is, however, another way to set the white balance of your image without actually touching these sliders. And that's by going to the tools up in the top left hand corner and selecting the white balance tool or pressing the I key on your keyboard. Now this will allow you to sample an area within your photograph that you believe should be neutral. And in this example of this swan, I believe that the feathers on the back of this swan should be a neutral white. So I'm going to go and click on those. And as you can see, it's reset the white balance to make the highlights on the back of this swan neutral. In the next video, we're going to take a look at the exposure and recovery slider.